We're going to be checking out Brits Try Southern Desserts for the first time. I am still ill. My voice is not all this, and you guys got to bear with me. Around like 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys don't mind in hitting that subscribe button down below, it'll really help me out and really help out the channel. Yeah, let's jump into this and see what we got, man. Hi. I'm Josh. I'm Molly. And today we're going to the most famous cafe in all of New Orleans <laughs> to try something Ooh. called Baynets. Bay? Bay? There's a G in Bay there somewhere. Okay, Bagnets. I think it's silent. Bagnet. Oh, no. And after that, Beige nets. we're also going to try some of the most famous southern sweet treats. What is that? Desserts. Banana? I've got a sweet tooth. I'm very excited. I had sweet tooth, but I had to get them all removed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So these bay nets, they an old classic from New Orleans. Apparently a very old classic. I think a little bit of French influence. So they're from Old Orleans. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our first stop is apparently the original coffee stand, Café du Monde. I think uh, this is maybe the most oh, famous coffee. spot in New Orleans. I'm Everyone down. I talked to before we came here said, you have to come to Café du Monde. And this is quite cute. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, how do, we, how do we say that? Beignet. Beignet. Oh, the chest coming out, so that's a bad time to enjoy. Wait, bang yet? Yeah, okay, we're yeah. yeah. fresh. Thank you so much. Oh, they look, look so good. Oh, whoa, it's hot. Sugar's almost like stuck to it as well. Oh, I thought that was flour. Wait, is that sugar? I thought that was flour. <laughs> oh my god, oh. it feels somewhere in between like a croissant and a donut. Oh, right, they do look good. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Bro, no way that's wow. all sugar. Wow. Oh, wow. Bro, if that's all sugar, you would literally have a heart attack within a couple of bites. You know what? It's vaguely reminiscent of like a traditional Korean donut. Like, Ooh, really they do look fluffy. good. It's they look basic, really good. Right? It's very basic. It, and it it's looks almost very like basic. bread dough that's been deep fried. Yeah. Without the sugar, it really wouldn't be that sweet at all. Describing it that way makes oh. it sound bland. It's not bland. That it's is cool. sugar. That's crazy. I can see how that's famous. It's good, right? Nice and fluffy. See, that must be a different type of sugar because I've never seen sugar like that. Well, my sugar is not like that. So it's good. like flowery sugar. It's denser than I was expecting. Yeah, it's dense. You know that it's inside. Ooh. Of like You're right. It's like a deep fried baguette. Ooh. Yeah, there is. I mean, it's it something very so Frenchy good. With, with sugar on top. It really is the definition of food that doesn't travel mm. well. You gotta get it out of the fryer, eat it when it's hot. If you walked a couple of blocks, not only would you be covered in icing, oh, sugar, look, it's snowing. The glitter of the culinary world, yeah, okay. but they'd be cold. New Orleans is also famous for quite a few other desserts. Some of them, I think, specifically originated here and have made it around the south. Okay. Uh -huh. Including the thing we're gonna try next, which is called banana fosters. That's right, like listen, I love banana desserts. I don't know what it is, but I just love banana. Like, uh, my family does like some barbecue banana kind of thing where you slice the, the banana skin open and you put chocolate pieces. If you never tried it, try it, it's so good. You put chocolate pieces around the banana, wrap it in foil, and then cook it on the barbecue. Oh, it is so good. It's like a horrible beer. <laughs> It's so good, Cho spot, chocolate banana. Brennan's, another New Orleans institution. <laughs> it's a beautiful building. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? I mean, it's very historic around here. Kind of like old Orleans. It's really, really cute. Street. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Lovely Welcome to meet to you. I'm Josh. Hi. How are you, Christian? Nice to see nice you. Nice Welcome to meet to you, Christian. Oh, the piano is playing itself. Wow. <laughs> I think I've seen some videos of you all huh? before. Oh, really? I think That's it was actually right. Bucky's. Oh, I think you really? all did something in yeah, Bucky's, and you're like, what is this nonsense? And then you're like, I should not like any part of this, and it's delicious. <laughs> yes. I'm glad yeah, you I've seen the Bucky's video, right? The fact that you guys have a gas station that is that big and do such good foods, like, bro, it is mad. It's actually mad. It should be allowed. Oh, see welcome that to Brennan's, absolutely. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this. Wow. Thank you Thank so you, much. Christian. Certainly, our pleasure. So, Christian, I've heard then there's one thing we really need to try, especially. Bananas Foster, it was created mm. here. I'm going to cook it for you. Fantastic. Oh, wow. What this is going to make me hungry, so isn't it? So, we start with just a dash of butter and a sprinkle of brown sugar uh -huh. and a whisper of cinnamon in the pan. And I know you two are very healthy eaters. You do Extremely nothing but eat diet. vegetables yeah, and drink lots yeah, of water. Like us. So when this was created, one of the ideas was the flambe table side. 
And so the question was, should we flambe with banana liqueur or rum? What does flambe mean? What, what is flambe? And Ella Brennan famously said, hell, it's New Orleans, let's use both. I oh, smell I that. smell I that. I smell that. It smells incredible. Smell the that brown smells sugar. so good. We welcome well, about 250,000 people a year to come to Brennan's and order an entree. Wait, what's that? And about 200,000 of the 50,000. Smell that. It smells incredible. It smell the brown that smells sugar. so good. We welcome about 250,000 people a year to come to Brennan's and order an entree. Oh, wow. And about 200,000 of them order bananas foster. Yeah. 400,000 oh, wow. bananas a year. Mate. The, whatever this place is, they're getting a lot of people, and a lot of people is ordering in these bananas. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my god, he's actually cooking it in front of him, bro. That's mad. Yo, this is. I want to come here. Yeah. Four hundred thousand <coughs> bananas a year. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's so theatrical. No, that is sick. It. It's like the Cirque du Soleil of desserts. Yeah. This looks good. Are they just... I don't know if any of you guys have ever been here. Are they getting a special treatment right now? Because I'm not seeing many of these happening around the restaurant. You know what I mean? Is this a special treatment for them? Or like, let's say I go there. Is that going to happen to everyone or not? Oh my gosh. You have the, the cold of the ice cream here. You have the hot sauce. Ooh. You have the texture of the banana. Oh, look oh. at that. Oh. So bananas foster from where it was created, that gentlemen. Is good. Thank you so much, Fantastic. Christian. My pleasure. Thank you. Wow. Oh my god. That is good. Cheers, mate. Bananas foster. Oh is it my good? gosh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yo, 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 just look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. Gosh. Wow. He's yeah. just he's just staring at them like, what what are you, man? What are you? I might try that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the warm banana. Yeah, that guy's looking at the thinking, oh that yeah, that sounds really good. What are you getting? I I, I, I want that dish. <laughs> Caramelized with so much flavor. It's literally like oh, a warm I bet that's hunk. so good. I'm actually speechless. And in case that wasn't enough to sugar oh, for you. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, Great, yeah, yeah plenty of sugar in thank your diet. You very much. Oh my gosh. Bro, are they just trying to overdose on sugar in this video? Like, what is going on? Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Similar to this morning, like ingredients you've had your whole life. I'd love that but banana dish. Again, in a way that it just elevates it. It looks so easy. I feel like I could make that at home. Obviously, with a fire extinguisher close by. <laughs> that's mad. I can see on your face. You're like, how the hell? I mean, that's just a banana split with a little bit of fancy you've got to. alcohol. Yeah, something about the way the bananas get some, get some sauce. Get get it, lots of sauce. It absorbs the flavour, and the bananas. Are oh, one well, that's so bad. <laughs> They are, oh. <laughs> Mate, the banana, the texture. <laughs> oh. Wow. Like, it is beautiful. It's like, it feels like it's perfected. It's like a grown up banana split, isn't it? It, it is. is. It is. Grown up. I don't even like, know what banana split is. What is banana split? I'm guessing like you split the banana and then put something in it, but like to perfection. I've never had yeah, it. Like, like you, you couldn't improve on that. Can't be that good. It looks like just banana and ice cream. It really does look like banana and ice cream, but oh, do you know what that's reminded, bro? These faces when they try it is actually blowing me away. But do you know what I actually I haven't had in ages and I really love banana custard. You slice a banana, put it in like a bowl of custard. Oh, it's so good. You see what I mean? The flavor just keeps coming. I'm kind of amazed that this place wow. serves anything but this. Yeah. You could start a restaurant just doing this. <laughs> mm. Mm. This, by the way, just a taste of childhood. Well, the thing is, I'm, I am a little traumatized. The last time we had cotton candy, yeah. it was the toe of Satan. What? Oh. What do you mean, toe of Satan? And, uh, I forgot about that. Then we did, we made Satan. the spiciest cotton candy in the world. Genuinely, oh. one of the few times while filming that I was afraid for my life. Yeah. Well, none of us could breathe. But our throats swoll up because it was... Why are they eating spicy cotton candy? Oh, what? It's so spicy. Every, the entire crew, everyone was just started coughing their way out of the building. Yeah. That's yeah. That trauma. yeah. I'm, I'm reframing that trauma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I always say the tipsy cake that we had... Oh, they look good. ...over lockdown yeah. is my favorite dessert of all time. Yeah. This might tip it. 
Wow. It honestly might. You're saying that's the best dessert you've ever had. It's perfect. Do you know what? It's actually crazy. He's saying that this might be the best dessert he's ever had, and it it don't even look the best. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just it just looks so simple. Like two bananas, but like one banana split, ice cream, and some caramel sauce. It's perfect. Yeah, no. I mean, and, for what it is, you can't. You could not improve on that. Also, I can have another ten. <laughs> yeah. You know. So it's not like sickly yeah. filling. Yeah. Often with a really That's really good. great dessert, you get to the end and you're like, oh my you god. You feel sick. Whereas actually, one of your five healthy. a day. One of your five a day. You know, <laughs> we basically healthy. just had a fruit salad. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> with alcohol. The Fosters or the candy oh, floss? Oh, come on. That was, it's perfection. It's really it's good. Incredible. It's incredible. Unbelievably good. Holly said it might be his favorite dessert he's ever had. Ever. Well, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to You're an upstanding gentleman. I don't care what they say about okay. you. Good looking, handsome, and brilliant. My God. It's you know what? I'm going to come here and I'm literally going to say to him that it's the best dessert. I, I want this treatment. I want this treatment badly. Okay. <laughs> You're good looking, handsome, and brilliant. My God. It's fantastic. <laughs> the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Thank you so Thank you much for awesome. having us. Honestly, it was amazing. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. What a legend. The hospitality. Oh, people here are so nice. Hospitality. Seriously. Yeah, do, do you know what? It's very interesting to like watch these kind of videos, right? Because not only do I see the like the food, but like the service that America gives as well. Like you won't get that service in the UK. Like anyone like him, bro. I bet there's nobody in the UK that's like that guy right there. Saying that's your favorite dessert. The service. Ever. It's quite a statement because we had some pretty special desserts on this trip. Bread pudding. Bread pudding at Lil Dizzy. Huh? Wow. Gosh. Visually. Looks like it's fallen out the back of a van. Doug. <laughs> okay. That don't look good. My granny used to make really a epic bread pudding, actually. Wow. Bread oh, pudding. Christmassy. The thing is, I don't, I don't want to besmirch my beloved granny's memory. <laughs> okay. So I should start by saying <laughs> okay. this yeah. can never be granny's recipe. Very moist looking. Smart. Yeah. Very That's moist. True. Okay. It don't look good. Okay, of course it's good. Of course it's good. Wow. <laughs> okay. Of course. Okay, we're, we're, we're testing my family loyalty oh, here. <laughs> Poor no, granny. Unreal. Mate, no. did you not no need custard with that? No one? need. Yeah. Is it, is it no custard? Americans? What do you mean? They, they've they only gone and spiced it. Yeah, they have. They it's, have. it's heavily Why spiced. Why didn't we think of this? Why didn't we think of adding Oh, spice? wait, that's spicy. Oh, but, things. but wait, why would you want spice in a dessert? Yeah, they have. They it's, have. it's heavily spiced. Why didn't spiced. we think of this? Why didn't we think of adding spices to things? It makes them so much better. It's a big mouthful of bread For pudding. For dessert. But it's soft and moist and juicy and just goes down. No custard necessary. It's like it's got custard in it. Yeah. yeah. What? You know when like, those southern barbecuers like, inject the meat with, yes. with stuff? I don't know what they're injecting it with. That's been injected with like flipping goodness. Mm. Oh, He's you know what? The close-up looks better than further away. Okay, that actually looks better like that. From far away, it don't look that good. It, look, it just looks a bit like, eh, right? But that... Actually, close up, this was pretty good. The best bread pudding I've ever had. Also, the banana pudding at Blue Oak. It looks like a stock image that turns up when you search unhealthy. Okay, that looks it. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh, these nachos. Oh, I want nachos so bad. I haven't had nachos in ages. Healthy foods. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, that the, the banana pudding is going to be underneath. Dig deep. Oh, 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 yeah. Yo, I'm feeling ill right now. I'm not really feeling too good. You guys can definitely tell by my voice and stuff. And looking at this, it's not helping because it's actually making me feel more sick. Ooh, <laughs> that. Something oh, is hiding gosh. beneath. Oh, that is so sickly. Are there biscuit bits in there? I think so. There's what? banana, cinnamon, maybe? Yeah, well, that's really good. Underneath all the whipped cream, you've got this, yeah, this the banana pudding. Oh, I don't with, look like, good. bits of biscuit and everything oh, in there. Oh, that's this not making me feel so good. The banana is perfectly spiced again. Holy crap, that's good. Wow, you guys love spicing up your desserts. Oh, you weren't in Savannah, so you've never had banana pudding before. I've never had banana pudding. Wow, Luke's first ever taste of banana pudding. But, go, He's mate. always here for the food. Have a bit of biscuit. I need to sign up as their cameraman. I actually do. Because I want to get the same treatment as well. I want to go to America and eat a bunch of food. You know, I'm going to do it next year. It's good. No, there was a little bit in there, I think. It's like creamy air. It's 
almost yeah. like mousse. Yeah, almost. But then wow. like more creamy. That's delicious. Wow, so really good. Absolutely delicious. Really, really good. I love that. And now to the ones we tried yesterday. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Trying tomorrow. What? <laughs> what? Hey, gosh, it's like it's like the MCU. You can't keep track. Uh, this film has made no sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm just time. Thanks. I'm doing the time Thanks. thing back. You're hoping Aiden puts in some yeah. little sparkler yeah. bits. Okay. Thanks. And Aiden. He didn't do any <laughs> edits. Because otherwise, I'll look like a complete psycho. <laughs> he didn't do any edits. Oh, wait, here we are. This whole trip has been so special. Really, really cool. Such a privilege to get to experience a little bit of the local culture through the local cuisine. Meet all the people we've met with such a warm welcome in this oh, place oh you know I really what i actually it. really can't wait to go to america and just eat a bunch of food like even the desserts are good and i'm not even a massive dessert guy i'm not gonna lie but like, i could i just can't wait bro tex-mex and barbecue and oh, i can't if you're wait. anywhere near new orleans come by visit some of the restaurants we went to all worth the trip well on that note see you jolly soon see you jolly soon guys cheers mate Okay, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, they're tearing through that candy floss. Great video checking out the summer desserts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.